this episode, we're going to take a look at some additional Google Docs tips and tricks. Let's start with editing. You can do lots of editing and commenting within Google Docs, and this is really good for providing peer-to-peer -peer feedback or teacher-to-peer -peer feedback. So let's go ahead and look at how to leave comments. So you can leave comments on a word, a sentence, or an entire paragraph. What you want to do is you want to select um, the sentence, the writing, whatever, however much you want to go ahead and you know, leave a comment on, you want to highlight that text. And then you're going to go up to comments in the upper right, and you're going to click on comment again. So I'm going to say, make this more interesting, because it's maybe not the best opening sentence. So I'm going to go ahead and say comment. So as a student, I now know that uh, there is a comment left on this portion of text because it's highlighted. And as a student, when I click on this, that comment is going to pop out. So I can go ahead, I can leave, I can leave a reply to this, like OK. I can say, what do you think of this? You know, we can, we can go back and forth on that if we want to. If a student, I'm like, okay, I, would just, I just went ahead and fixed this, and now I want to resolve this issue, I can click Resolve and make that go away. Now, it doesn't make it completely go away. It just goes up into my comment area here. We can still um, leave comments. I can even reopen this as the teacher, and then it will come back into the side area. So that's one way just to leave kind of some feedback there. But what if we want to do some editing and leave you know, some editing feedback? To do that, we're going to get out of editing mode, and we're going to go into suggesting mode. So this was just some text I copy and pasted in here. So I'm going to take a few things out of here. I don't want all these little you know, footnotes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete those out. So because I'm in suggesting mode, when I do delete them out, notice it just kind of strikes them out right there. It does not completely get rid of them, but it does make a comment over on the side. So as the student here, I can decide, do I want to keep these suggested um, edits or do I want to reject them? So if I accept them, it's going to go ahead, it's going to take that out, and it actually puts this into uh, my comment section here as a comment. And it says that I did um, accept those suggestions. Now if I want to add things right here, so I'm just going to add a sentence, or part of a sentence. As a student, I can, I can decide, do I keep this, or do I say, you know what, I don't need this at all. I'm going to go ahead and reject it. And so all that is kept um, record in my comments area. So that is commenting and suggesting. Let's take a look at some other tips and tricks. Our next tip is going to look at ways to make this Google document a little bit more visually interesting. If we want more than just text, we do have the ability to add images, but we also have the ability to add drawings, and that allows us to alter the image, add items to it, um, and again, make it more visually interesting. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go up to insert, and instead of doing an image, I'm going to do a drawing. So what this is doing is it's open up Google Drawing inside of Google Docs. So I'm going to create my drawing right here. So in this case, I want to go get an image, but I want to add some labels to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my search, and I'm just going to search for tornado. I'm going to find this tornado picture that I want. I'm going to say select, and it's going to put it into my um, drawing area right here. So now, if I want to go in, I want to add an arrow because I want to kind of point out a few things. I'm going to go ahead and add that arrow, and again, right now that might be a little bit hard to see, so I can change the line color. I'm going to make it red, and now I'm going to make it much bigger. Oops, add an extra one there, so we'll undo that. And so now I put the arrow in, I'm going to put it in a text box. So I'm going to add this little text box right here, and I'm going to say that is, that is going to be a funnel cloud. So right now I can decide, is that really the font color that's the best choice? I'm going to go ahead and go to my font here, and I'm going to go ahead and just choose red just because it stands out here. And if I want to just go ahead and say, you know what, I need to move this thing around. I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little closer. I can also change on the color surrounding the box, so if I actually want that to stick out a little bit right there. If I want the background, I want this to really stick out. There we go. So now I've labeled this. I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. It's now going to add that drawing to my Google Doc. And so rather than just have a document with a picture, I can actually do some labeling and add items to make that a little bit more visually interesting and provide more information. So these were just a couple Google Docs tips and tricks. Um, we hope that you can find uses for these and that your students can find uses for these to be more productive and do more with Google Docs as part of your Google Apps for Education suite.